This time on Mountain Top Chef, we're making cake, and one of our favorites, carrot cake. So if you're a carrot lover, or you know a carrot lover, this is sure to fill one of those carroty cravings. Let's take a look at our ingredients. We'll need two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and 340 grams of carrots. Three carrots should usually do the trick. We need these washed and peeled. There's an optional ingredient for one cup of walnuts. We just prefer not to use them. You'll also need half a cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, four eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, half a cup of corn oil, and a third cup butter. Let's quickly preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Here's a simple trick to help you remove your cake from your pan with ease. Since we'll be using two nine inch pans, we'll be making two of these. We'll start by folding it into a square. Then, proceed to fold it into a triangle on the pivot point, till you end up with something like this. Place it in the center of your pan and measure it till the outer rim. Cut off that excess. And there you have it. With a little butter, grease your pan. This butter acts as a glue so that when you put your parchment paper in, it doesn't move around. As you're putting your parchment paper in, make sure that you reach all the corners so there's no batter leakage. Putting our pans aside, we move on to carrots. Now whether you're using a food processor or a hand grater, the important thing to remember is that our carrots are medium shred. When measuring your brown sugar, don't forget to pack it in. There's a difference. Then the white sugar, and pour them both in the machine. Add in our salt. We're gonna add in our eggs and get the mixer going on a slow speed. Add in our oil and butter. We wanna mix this till we get a smooth and consistent texture. When that's done, we're gonna add in our cinnamon and our flour. We're gonna add in this flour gradually till it gets fully incorporated. Then our baking soda. And our vanilla extract. Dump in the shredded carrots and give it a quick spin. Now, you just have to pour the batter evenly between the two pans. Place in the preheated oven and we'll move on to icing. For your icing, you'll need a quarter cup of butter and 230 grams of confectioner sugar. Don't forget to zero out your scale before you start. You'll also need 227 grams of cream cheese. That's your standard pack. Your butter. And vanilla extract. Oops. Your confectioner sugar. And start whisking. While we have a few minutes to spare, let's go check our cake. You'll know your icing is done once it forms soft peaks. Place the icing in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator to chill. Our cake should be in there for 35 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. When it does, let them sit and cool. Once the pans are cool enough to handle, we'll flip it over onto a wire rack. Always be careful when you're pulling off the parchment paper. You never know what can happen. Another simple trick we have is for icing. Put a Ziploc inside of a cup. This makes it easy so that when you put in your icing, it gives it a nice clean fill. Not to mention it's disposable. Then all you have to do 
is cut off the tip. Now we're going to start putting on the first layer. Don't worry if it's a bit messy, we're just going to smush it anyway. For the top of the cake, we're going to make it a lot tighter and to the edges. Then we're going to fill all the cracks and crevices and start working our way down the side of the cake with a spatula. For the last part, we're going to garnish our cake. Garnish can make a simple cake beautiful. We decided to use our leftover carrots to make these flowers and confetti. Our tip to you is to be as creative as possible. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe if you don't want to miss another one. You can connect with us on all our social media, and we'll see you next time.